Hey everyone, King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a review video now of CM9 on the Nexus S4G, CyanogenMod 9. I do have a video showing you how to install it in case you are wondering. I'll link to that in the description of the video, but let's get going. Take see the start screen. I'm going to hit start, and it looks like it's loading, so it's just a sec. I'm actually excited to see what uh, CyanogenMod has put together. I haven't read anything or anything like that so this is my first time loading up cm9 so i'm going to go ahead and let this load takes me to sign ins i'm not going to sign in now i'm not going to make you sit through and watch me uh, do this stuff but anyways my number is on my nexus s 4g so you won't see any 3g signal up at the top so don't worry you will have 3g signal you're not going to have 4g my guess is you will not ever have 4G on any ice cream sandwich build until official ice cream sandwich is out. So keep that in mind. But here it is. So it looks very similar to any ice cream sandwich build on the Nexus S 4G. But let's see what kind of tweaks that they've put together. So app drawer looks about the same. Looks like they use the same ice cream sandwich launcher with their with this build. Um, everything else about the same. Let's see what kind of apps they've included if any out of the ordinary nothing really out of the ordinary that i'm noticing app wise swipe down everything's about the same let's go ahead and check out the notification bar as you can see stock ice cream sandwich battery icon stock ice cream sandwich battery i mean uh clock blue, nice that light blue color same with notification bar Sem semi-transparent and black right there let's go ahead and hit menu go to system settings Scroll down, keep scrolling down, and go to About Phone. And as you can see, Android version 4.0.1 right there. And Mod version right there, Signage Mod 9.0. So there you have it, CM9 on the Nexus S4G. Doesn't seem like much difference right now. Let's go ahead and uh, see what else that we can find with CM9. So I'm going to go to Menu and go to Preferences. And as you can see, it takes you to this preferences sheet. I'm gonna go to home screen, and it, you can change your number of home screens, it looks like. So they obviously are adding their CM9 tweaks, just a lot more tweaks that you can uh, that you can mess with. You can resize any widget, so instead of just the stock widgets, you can resize any widget, so that's kinda cool. That's a nice feature. You can choose a grid size for your home screen. You can choose your default screen. Um, for your home screen as well. So those are nice tweaks. Go to the drawer. Um, you can join your widgets with the apps in your app drawer. So you swipe over to the widgets. You got indicators. Let's see what else there is. Docs. Let's see what kind of dock preferences we can get. Doesn't look like it opens up anything. So icons doesn't open up anything general. Auto rotate screen. So that's your other option. Okay. So those are your only preferences right now so that doesn't seem like very much difference with CM9 it's really based off of stock ice cream sandwich regardless so even stock CM7 really wasn't much different than stock gingerbread so keep that in mind when installing this ROM other than that as I said uh, this is just a early build of CM9 so they are gonna add more tweaks for sure with their CM9 build, as I said, since it being an early build, all the tweaks have not been ported over that they would like to. I'm sure they'll add more power control widget options for you guys. Facebook Sync should be there very soon. Just other tweaks that this has. Otherwise, it's running pretty smooth. Haven't had any lag issues yet. So very cool there. Definitely a ROM to check out if you have a Nexus S4G. Seems to work pretty well. Got the nice ice cream sandwich wallpaper right there. I do really like that wallpaper. Probably my favorite live wallpaper. But that's about it. Other than that, that is a quick review of CM9, Signage of Mod 9 on your Samsung Epic 4G. As I said, you might run into a couple problems with it being an early build, but should be stable and enough to run a da as a daily driver. Other than that, if you have any questions or let me know what you think, leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.